everybody thank you so much for clicking on this video this video will be what's in my backpack dental student edition oh by the way if you're new to my channel my name is Brittany I am a first year dental student and I make videos uh, mostly vlogs about dental student life so let's get started my backpack is this high Sierra oh my god it looks so big on camera it's a high Sierra backpack it's black so what it looks like oh gosh it's so heavy. I got it from Costco uh, like a couple weeks before school started and they had like a pretty good deal. It was $15 for a backpack and if you know backpacks here are pretty pricey but this Costco brand pretty good. The only downside that this backpack has is that the straps are like if you can see the straps are very thin so you want to be careful and not to put too much um, stuff in your backpack or else it might rip like one of my friends that happened to her. So the first thing is my water bottle. This is a Camelback Eddy in the one liter version. Now something really funny is that I've actually went through three water bottles already, um, broke two, and this is my third one, um, only in these last two months of dental school, which is insane. So the story behind that is I did have a Camelback um, Eddie, or I don't even know how you pronounce it, Eddie, Eddie, Camelback Eddie. Um, my friend got it for me for my birthday, it was super cool, it had um, my name, Brittany, and then like um, a tooth outline, which was really cute. It was 750 milliliters rather than 1000 milliliters, but um, what happened was this thing over here stopped working. So yeah, my second water bottle, it was like kind of like this, it wasn't glass, but it was like really fragile plastic and I accidentally dropped it in the concrete and this whole like bottom half like just pff, broke and that's why I thankfully have this one for my boyfriend, shout out to Alex. Yeah. So moving on, the first thing that I have in my backpack would have to be this, which is like my tooth model, my teeth model. Oh. I bring it home sometimes because when I'm studying for like a tooth morphology quiz or something like that, I want to be able to like look, but I want to be able to see um, the tooth and its contours and like height of contour, whatever the shape, stuff like that. It's really helpful to have like something like this with you that you can bring around. Um, you can also get an app, but it, nothing really beats like the real thing, like a physical copy, so you could study while looking at your tooth. The next thing that I have is my laptop. I have a Dell. Yeah, um, I actually originally have a MacBook, MacBook Pro, but um, it's kind of old, and so then the school, like the requirements in for the school. In case you guys are wondering, I do edit my videos on iMovie, and I have a MacBook for that, so. So I like this. Some people don't. Some people, a lot of people in my class got a Mac, but I, I like this. I grew up with Dell and everything. It has touch screen, it's super light, so it's really easy to like bring around. By the way, I don't have any textbooks. Basically everything is like electronic and in my computer, so I don't have any textbooks and my backpack. The next thing I have is my notebook, and this is a five-star notebook. Yay. Um, it's actually wide rolled, but um, this is a notebook that I use to like do, it's like scratch paper, so like if I want to like write down a lot of processes or like be able to like spell out a lot of stuff, I write them over and over again. So example pages, I don't know if you guys can see, I'll put this up later, but just a bunch of stuff. Uh, I, by the way, take, I take notes on my computer. I find it faster, it's more efficient for me to type out notes rather than write it, but I know other people it's different. The next thing I have are my two folders. So this folder, oh, it's a white folder I got from my school. I just put a whole bunch of stuff in it, like any loose leaf stuff. And then next is my restorative dentistry folder that everyone gets. So inside we have a bunch of lab products. Um, like we're doing like the pink ones. So what we do is like we draw it out or draw the parts that are missing and then um, we begin to do it. So right now um, on next Wednesday I have four teeth due so that's exciting. And the next one is one of my prize positions. This is my planner. It says I'm very busy. It's kind of funny. <laughs> but I love this planner. I got it from Canada. It's kind of funny when I went to Canada. For summer, I wanted a planner, so 
This is my egg. Um, next one's a pencil case. It's like cats. A friend bought this for me. This thing surprisingly is bigger than it looks. Like I can fit like a ton of stuff. So yeah, I'm not really much of a pen person. I just basically use a pen and a pencil. But like I have a bunch of highlighters here, but I don't really use them unless like I'm studying at home. Oh god. So this is my little lunch bag that I carry around with me in my backpack. I just have lunch. Um, here's lunch. Oh gross, that's kind of gross. But yeah, this is kind of heavy because I have like Tupperware and that's pretty heavy. Then I have my iPhone charger and I have my laptop charger. Pretty basic stuff. I have earphones. <laughs> I try not to bring earphones because like I don't want to be listening to anything or watching a video because that will distract me. So pretty much that is it for my what's in my bag dental school edition. I hope that it was interesting. I know it's pretty basic but I just thought it'd be cool to show you guys what is in my backpack and why I look like a turtle all the time and why everything's so heavy. But if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and if you want to see more videos regarding dental school stuff, please make sure to subscribe to my channel. I would love it. And also a note that if you do want to ask me a question, you can always comment on any of my videos. I get back to them pretty fast and I almost always reply. Um, if you want to send me like a private message, you can do that as well. You can go on my about page on my YouTube page and on the upper right there should be a little button that says send message and I will be sure to read them and reply. Okay, have a good one. Bye!